How to figure out the pitch or the slope of your roof. Why it's important? Well, if you're gonna measure from a 2D dimension or a sketch, your number's gonna be off a little bit, and the more steep it is, you're gonna be off even more. So first of all, what is the pitch or slope? Well, let's just do a quick example of what that is. So if you're looking at a section of a roof or a rise, okay, it's not parallel to the ground, you need it sloped so the rainwater runs off, it's to shed your roof. Well, when they refer to a number, for example, in this case, we're saying a 612, if you were to measure out from a spot, say for my ladder right here, about one foot, so it's about where it intersects right here. Well, if you measure up from that area, go vertical, you can see where it's touching right there, it is six inches. So for every one foot in, you go up six inches. If you go over two feet, you're gonna go up 12 inches. So that's what it is, and why it's important, like I said, when you measure from a 2D dimension, which by the way, check out the video up here on Google Maps and how you can measure your roof for free, really quick and simple from the safety and comfort of your home provided you don't have trees over it. So the steeper the pitch is and you're figuring from a 2D dimension like Google Earth, your numbers are gonna be off and you don't wanna be short and you got a storm coming and you gotta run to the store to get more materials. So order it all. How to figure it? Well, you're gonna need to know the common multiplier to factor into that. So let's get into a quick example, a couple examples of how to do it. Speed square, most people have seen these. They're very versatile. There's a lot of things a speed square can do, which is beyond the scope of this video. We're gonna show you a quick, simple technique, how you can find out the pitch of your roof. So coming down right over here on the edge here, all speed squares, well should, I guess, I haven't seen one without, have a pivot point. You're gonna take that pivot point and line it up on a gable end out here. You're gonna look and just kinda eyeball that this top horizontal part is flat, not to, not to slope down or up or anything, just pretty flat. Doesn't have to be exact. You're not gonna fly to the moon on this. You're just gonna figure a formula out. So if you look at that there, from the pivot point, if you follow that down, where is it crossed through right here? It's about the six, got a little glare on it. So it has a six, 12 pitch. Be aware that you're looking at the common and not the hip value, totally different section. You need the common for this. If you wanna be more accurate, use a level across the top right here or put a plumb bob going down this and you can use the string with a plumb bob to make sure you're perfect and then find your, your crossing point. So that's one way. If you don't have a speed square, don't worry, there's other simple ways. Like I said, you're not gonna fly to the moon on this thing. I'm just trying to get an idea for your measurements. So here's another tool. Tape measure and my invisible level. Just imagine my invisible level here. All right, so my invisible level is actually just a one foot piece of ridge cap that I had in the back of the truck. Measures one foot. We're gonna butt it into the roof somewhere. It doesn't matter where, anywhere on the roof, but you wanna come straight out. You wanna make sure it's as level as you can look at it. I even thought right before shooting this, putting some water on here to see which way it rolls. It's way, it's not necessary. So get it somewhat level, take your tape measure down and go down and see there's that magical six. So it's a 612 pitch. One foot in, six inches up, that's your eyes. So you're gonna have your multiplier for that. Then you'll plug in a simple formula, which I'll plug a card up on the screen. You take your total squareage from a 2D dimension or measuring it out from the ground, whatever, and you'll multiply it by your multiplier. It will give you, it'll take into account the angle. Really simple, then that's about what you need. And you might wanna factor in at that point, waste. Well, what's that you say? You don't have a tape measure, your tape measure's broken if you're like me, they're always junk. Don't worry, I know. I know something you do have. Right over here. Everybody's got a smartphone, and if you don't, I know you got a smartphone. So there's some pretty cool little apps you can get up, and I will show you in my work file. Here, boom, boom, pitch gauge. So there's this pretty sweet little pitch gauge here. I'll have to drop my GoPro. So you can put your pitch gauge on your roof and it simply tells you right there see that 612 pitch you can also snap photos of it for referencing later basically what it does it uses your accelerometer and uh, uh, i don't know can't think of the word right now but it tells you the angle of the pitch with magnetic fields and things so it's a really simple way i know you got a smartphone go to your play store or your apple store whatever you use and find you a pitch gauge really simple they're free that's the best part free Okay, so we've covered those different ways of doing it. Uh, yeah, you don't want to be short on your project. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a beat. I try to post here daily, regularly. So if you subscribe, hit the bell off to the side so you're notified when it is uploaded.
Till next time, be safe and see you then.